It's quite trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMRN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And quite a few updates here need to be made. First thing I'm going to do is a little house cleaning. Just get rid of these green lines. Whoops. Here. Yes, they still pertain to the chart, but they're not really relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to have lines all over the place uh, that could cause clutter and confusion. So just want to keep this as clean as possible. The first update, though, that needs to be made comes from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch the video from yesterday, hopefully you remember me talking about right here around 328 as resistance. But now that the price broke above it this morning, you would want to see it act as support. And fast forward to the end of the day, surprise, surprise, right there acting as support. And this is what I would call the ideal level of support going forward. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? If the price can stay up above 328, that would be a great sign of power on the bull's part. Now, if the price falls below it, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can stay above it, that would certainly be the ideal situation. From the big picture perspective, as I explained in yesterday's video, it's all about the purple line there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. So as time goes by, this line is just going to keep on moving its way upwards. And essentially, if you want to just picture that as an overall trend line, you know, that's more than logical. So from a, a grand scheme of things perspective, the easy cut and dry way to look at this is as long as the price is above that purple line, above the quote unquote trend line, then the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. Now, what about areas of resistance? In regards to the potential battleground, if you were watching level two today, then I'm sure you know exactly where I'm headed, and that's right up there at $3.40. You can see numerous times today, bulls try to push up through that level and just couldn't quite do it. So for whatever reason, the sellers have decided to hang out up there at 340. Not saying it can't be broken or anything like that, but according to the current story of the chart, that is where the sellers are residing at this point in time. All in all though, as long as the price keeps on doing what it's been doing, in terms of putting in these higher bases, then the long-term chart will continue to take care of itself. So another nice day. We'll see how things close out the week tomorrow. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.